guys, it's Adria, and today I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone. You guys have been requesting this. I haven't done one in a while, I think since like September of 2013, so this is definitely well overdue. Here is my iPhone. It has this cute little Hello Kitty case on it. I just got it off Amazon. Amazon has the best phone cases. They're super cheap. I just have the 4S. In my last what's on my iPhone, I had the iPhone 4 upgrade <laughs> but I decided to get the 4s because yeah you know, it just seemed like the best option because I didn't want to have to get rid of all my phone cases because I have such cute phone cases and if I got like an iPhone 5 or a 6 I would have to get all new phone cases and that just didn't seem appealing at the time maybe one day but not right now and I have a little Hello Kitty home button right there and my wall ooh, my wallpaper at the moment are just my Valentine's Day flowers slide to unlock. Uh, all right, so here's what my home screen looks like. So up at the top we have camera, photos, calendar, and weather. And then my first folder right here is social. And there we just have Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Keek, YouTube, Instagram, Vine, Messages, and Safari. Uh, this is probably my most used folder. Social media, you know, taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter. I don't really use Keek or Vine very much anymore, but you can still feel free to follow me on there. So then in my next folder right here, that's called Friends. And these are just like my social games, Words with Friends, Draw Something, Wheel of Fortune, and Trivia Crack. And of course, right now, Trivia Crack is life. Um, I get so many requests on there, though, from like you guys, because I posted something on Instagram about Trivia Crack, and I got like 20 <laughs> requests like all at once to play, and I was just like, oh! I mean, I would play with all you guys, but I like you need like a certain amount of lives to reply so I feel like our game would expire because you only have like two days to respond to the game so and you only have three lives so I can really only play like a few games at a time so sorry if I reject your request to play trivia crack but um yeah so then in my next folder right here that is just games and I just have Candy Crush and Dots I used to have a lot more games but they were taking up so much space on my phone so I just deleted them because I don't really play games unless they're like you know words with friends trivia crack like interactive friend games but I don't really game by myself on my phone and then on the end right here we just have a utilities folder in there we have the app store itunes store reminders notes clock calendar contacts maps and compass and is there more over here yeah then we just have stocks and voice memos i don't really use this folder very much besides like the calculator and the notes and clock and yeah the obvious stuff that would be used but stocks and like voice memos it's no, girl. <laughs> okay, so then on the third row, the first folder right here is miscellaneous. And in there I have days since, days until, receipt hog, chase, Walmart, followers, videos, and the game center. And the days since and days until is just like, you know, you can keep track of how many days it's been since something, how many days until something's coming up. And receipt hog, you can just scan like your grocery receipts and you can earn points to earn money. I think right now I have like around like 3,700 points and that's enough to redeem for like $20 on like Amazon or something like that. So yeah, you get like rewards for just scanning receipts. It's like, all right, I'm going to buy food anyway. Might as well get some rewards out of it, you know? So I definitely recommend that for anybody. I mean, even if you're a kid, like just ask your parents for their grocery receipts and just start scanning them. You can get rewards, honey. I mean, it kind of takes a while. It took me like a year before I could like redeem it for anything, but if you're diligent with it, you get every receipt. All right, so then my next folder right here is called Editors, and in there I just have uh, Frametastic, Space Paint, line camera, instafit, and heart camera. And these are all just photo editors. This is what I use to edit my pictures for like Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, not much to say there. I really recommend heart camera. This little pink one down here, especially if you love like Japanese looking stuff like cute pink things. It's really cute. And it's funny because Brandon actually downloaded it and he's like, you need to get this. It's so cute. I'm like, okay. 
okay. Then in my next folder is books right here. And in there I just have dictionary, passbook, and newsstand, which I don't really use this folder very much besides the occasional dictionary. Then I just have a wallpaper folder right here. And in there I just have two wallpaper apps. I don't really even use those. I don't really download wallpapers that often. I don't know, it's just something I don't really think about. I used to do it all the time, but now I'm just kind of like... Then I just have my email right there. And in here is music. There's Pandora, my iPod music, and Shazam. Shazam is really useful if you don't know what that is. It's like if a song is playing and you don't know what it's called or anything and you like it, or if you're just curious, you could just click the Shazam button and it'll tell you the song and the artist and even the album. So it's like, wow, cool. <laughs> then I have my health folder right here. And here I just have my fitness pal, monthly cycles, running from Nike, and fitter fitness. All of these are really good when it comes to like your health and stuff. Uh, my fitness pal can help you keep track of like the food that you eat. If you like want to count your calories, make sure you don't overeat and stuff like that and keep your uh, portions right with your food. Um, monthly cycles just helps you keep track of like your periods and your period symptoms and like when you'll get your period because I am so bad at that. <laughs> so, and the Nike running app is really good if you like go for walks or jogs or anything like that. It'll track your distance and how fast you went and everything like that. So that's really good for like walks, running, jogging, anything like that. And then Fitter Fitness, I don't really use that, but it can help you like calculate if you're like underweight or at the right weight or overweight. You just like put in your height and your weight and it'll tell you like your body mass index and stuff like that. So that's cool. And then this folder down in the corner is called Faith. And in there I just have my daily Bible inspiration, my Bible app, and the app Instapray, which I don't use these as much as I probably should. But um... Yeah, those are some nice apps. Instapray is really cool if you're, like, religious. It's basically, like, um, Facebook, but it's all just religious people. You know, there isn't, like, a crazy amount of people on it, like, Facebook, but Instapray is, like, a lot more condensed, and it's all just, like, religious people, and instead of, like, typing a status, you, like, type a prayer, and, like, people can, like, repray it and, like, like it and stuff like that and comment on it, so that's a cool app. And so then down at the bottom, we just have phone, kick, messages, and my GoPro app. I don't really use kick anymore. Really, the only thing I used kick for was when Brandon and I were long distance. That was like how we communicated because it was just faster than texting. It was basically like being in like a chat room rather than texting because texting, it's like, oh, you wait for them to reply. But with kick, it's like, oh, it feels like they're right there and they're just replying right away. So... I don't really use Kick. I know that a lot of you guys message me on Kick quite frequently, but chances are I'm probably not going to see it because I just like, I don't use Kick. I've even thought of deleting it because I just don't use it. And so that's it for this page. So then on the next page, all there is is FaceTime and settings. That's really it. I mean, when you guys said you wanted to see an update of what's on my iPhone, I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, this is going to be so boring because... I don't really have anything on my iPhone. I've actually like gotten rid of a lot of things. So yeah, I mean, I like my phone. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I don't need the latest and greatest as long as I can text and go on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. You know, I'm fine with that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and any other videos that you may want to see in the future, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. I love you guys. Bye! Then I... Ugh. And in there I just have my fitness pal. Hell.